Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, host of Tech Digest, and we are back with another water resistance test. And this time we have got with us the LE2 from LE Eco or LE TV. And in this video, we are going to dip it in water for one minute and find out whether it survives the same. So far, we have tested the HTC 10 and the OnePlus 3, and this is the very OnePlus 3 that survived the test in our earlier video. I'll start the timer, put it in water, dip it out after one minute, and see whether it survives. So let's get started with the test by pressing this counter and dropping it at the same time on a count of three. One, two, three. So here goes the LED two in the water, and the display has gone off. Probably the time out for the display was not set. So this is still alive. You can see that the phone is inside water. It's still alive and kicking. It's around twenty seconds. Forty more to go. And we'll check the phone after a minute or so. Right now, it's, the screen is going off because there is uh, a timeout set after which it locks. There is no bubbles coming out of the water, which means that the water is not seeping inside the body of the phone. It's a unibed, unibody metal phone, and it's quite solidly built. It's at par in build and construction compared to any flagship. So I hope that this will survive this uh, underwater test. It's already 50 seconds and. It's time to take it out in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. So it has survived the uh, one minutes underwater. Now let's see if there is any signs of life. If the phone is dead or still surviving, I'll just move this uh, to the side. Let's wipe the screen first, and then we'll try to wake up the phone. This is a brand new LED TV. LE2. The screen is on. It is unlocking. I am able to draw the pattern. It seems to be working fine. Uh, let me try and play some music. The volume is very low because the water has seeped into this uh, speaker grills. So let me try to get rid of that water. So let's try that. Usually, after such tests, it takes a couple of hours for the phone to come back properly. This is still playing, but the audio is not loud at all. It's very very feeble. I'll do a follow-up test on the audio test after drying it for an hour or two. Let's find out whether the camera is uh, okay or not. The camera lens does not seem to show any signs of water seepage or any bubbles. So let's take some pictures. This is the front-facing camera. Spotless, no issues. This is the rear-facing camera, working as expected. There's no issue in the camera performance. You can see that this is a rear-facing camera picture, front-facing camera picture. The music is still playing in the background. It's not loud, not loud at all. Let me rub this piece of cloth near the speaker grill. All right, see. So this phone has survived the water test, and the speaker performance seems to have been impacted because there are still some water droplets inside. Once it dries up, it will hopefully get better. So I'll upload. Maybe a small Twitter video and link it in the description section below for the follow-up where you can see whether the audio has recovered or not. So you have to stay tuned and check the comment section or the description section below after some time. This is all we have on this video. This video has been made on popular demand by most of our viewers who have on previous videos commented and requested for this video. So give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this, and uh, we are happy to fulfill your request. Uh, Do subscribe for more such videos. This is your host Rohit Kumar signing off. Thanks for watching.